Ever traveled before where you buy some tickets and you weren't sure if you can get them in time? Well, let's discuss. What's up guys, welcome back. My name's Shraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today we're talking all about how to actually get your tickets on time for that amazing, amazing event. Now when you are buying those tickets online through resale marketplaces, sometimes though tickets are not just, you know, instant delivery. There are a few different options that exist for you and because of that there are delays on when you'll actually get those seats. But are you gonna get them in time? When you buy tickets on Ticketmaster and other general primary resale marketplaces, you're never too worried about getting those tickets on time because you know that they're they're there. They're in the account, they're there, they're set up for you. Everything is gonna be awesome. But when you buy them on resale marketplaces, sometimes there's that feeling of, you know, will I actually get these tickets on time? I don't wanna to get to the gate, not have the tickets in my hand yet, and then, you know, have to wait and wait, maybe I won't get them, maybe I will get them, and just, you know, all that fear and, and anxiety. So today's Ticket Tip Thursday, let's dive a little bit deeper into actually getting those tickets on time and how that actually all works. So first thing off, when you are going in to buy tickets on the resale marketplace, the first thing you're gonna notice is that there are a whole bunch of different delivery dates set up for the event. When you go in, take a look at different listings, you'll see some of them will say, you know, July 10, some will say July 12, some will say whatever, depending on the event date itself, there are a wide range of dates available. This is because a seller is able to pick whatever date they want to say when they'll actually have the tickets in hand. Just because someone says they're gonna have their tickets in hand three months for someone else, doesn't mean those tickets are any better than the person who put their delivery date much later, it just means that they expect to receive those tickets earlier than someone else. When you are buying tickets on the resale marketplace, you are expected to be delivered those tickets in time for that event so you don't have anything to worry about. So if you are traveling like someone like me right now, you will be able to still get your tickets in time even if the delivery dates are kind of like all over the place. If you are traveling though and you are worried about getting physical tickets in time for the event, you can request a new shipping location of where you actually get those tickets delivered. As long as you do that prior to when the tickets are shipped out, you will be fine in that manner. Any other electronic delivery type, don't have anything to worry about. You'll either get the tickets sent to you directly to your phone, whether it's through mobile transfer, mobile screenshot, QR codes, things like that, or you'll actually get them sent to you where you can go ahead, print them off as a PDF, show it at the gate that way. Editing Shiraz here, I just want to make one thing clear. The actual date that you see there, the delivery date or the guaranteed date that it'll be sent by, that is simply an estimate made by the seller. Many times a seller will simply put the latest possible date regardless of when they'll actually have those tickets in hand because it gives them a buffer or time to actually get those tickets delivered to you. For me personally, whenever I am listing and selling tickets, I will always put the latest possible delivery date regardless of when I'll actually get those tickets in my possession just because I want to give myself the most amount of time to go ahead and fulfill that order. If I do get those tickets earlier though, I will generally go ahead fulfill that order in advance because I want to make sure I get that sale out of the way, don't want to think about it anymore, and just makes everyone's life a bit easier. Just want to make that a little bit more clear because I don't think it was quite, quite there yet. Back to the video. Let's dive into a few examples and kind of see what I'm talking about. What I have here, I have StubHub. I'm just gonna open up a random event here, first thing at the top. What you see here is you see a whole bunch of different seats available. And some of them say instant delivery and some of them do not. Instant delivery means you'll be getting those tickets immediately so you have nothing to worry about. So this is generally why people feel like, oh, if I'm gonna buy a ticket, I wanna get instant delivery tickets because they'll, 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 they'll be in my hands as soon as possible. However, not all tickets will be instant delivery, just depending on the ticket delivery type. So let's jump into any one of these which are not instant delivery, and you can see here there is a delivery method stated, mobile transfer, and a date of when you'll actually get those seats. The event here in this case is August 3rd, so you know, about 24 hours before the event takes place, you'll be getting those seats. It may not fill you with the most amount of confidence, but, because other people already have instant delivery tickets set up, it would imply, not guarantee, but it would imply that the seller would actually have access to these tickets already so that once they are sold, they'll go ahead, upload the tickets, transfer the tickets, whatever the case may be, however the delivery method is set up. Tickets will be sent to you basically prior to this date. This is simply, you know, the, the best estimated available date for you, the latest possible date for you, but not the absolute only gonna get the tickets on this date, date for you. Got it. So let's take a look here, Chris Stapleton, and see what we got. So you got a few of these with little flags on them. Some of them say instant email delivery. So let's take a look. So if I click just any random event here, it says UPS delivery. So Vivid Seats, they're a bit more tricky, a bit different. Every resale marketplace kind of operates a bit differently. Sometimes tickets will say something like this, UPS delivery, receive your tickets in the mail, and there's no actual delivery date on it. Generally, not always, but generally this will mean that it is a special 
delivery. Special delivery basically means that you may receive your tickets by mail, you may get them at the event itself from will call, you may meet up with the seller themselves to pick up the tickets directly from them. There's a whole bunch of different options that do exist. If you see something like this though, and you don't feel too comfortable about it, that's fine. You can just, you know, back out and try to find something else. So let's take a look at another pair of seats. As you can see here, Saturday, July 10th is when you're expected to be shipped those tickets again. In this case, it's done a bit differently. StubHub was showing you the estimated final date of when you would receive those tickets. This is when the shipping date of the tickets would take place. So you do have to remember that a shipping date is not the same as the receiving date. The shipping date could potentially be, you know, two, three, four days prior to when you actually receive them, depending on the speed of delivery, how far it takes them to travel, blah, 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 all that good stuff. However, you do see here again with StubHub, with Vivid Seats, with many of these other larger exchanges, they do have a fan guarantee of some sort where they'll say you will receive your tickets in time. I wouldn't worry about it too much, especially with smaller events that take place often and you know are, are uh, a bit more common, but in general, you shouldn't have to be worried about any of this stuff. The fan guarantee is just there in place just in case something were to go wrong. Now, a lot of people though, they are always concerned about you know getting physical tickets. So uh, if they can get a mobile ticket, they know that they'll get it in time. So there are usually filters to allow you to turn that on. So if you just take a look at instant delivery tickets, electronic tickets, that kind of thing. You can see here, a lot of these are mobile or email delivery. So you will be getting those tickets directly to your phone or to your computer. You can go ahead and print off the actual ticket depending on ticket type. So some of these ones, again, email delivery, you'll have a date. Look at that, July 12th is when you'll be expected to get these tickets. And then it's just as simple as getting it on your phone or printing it off so you can go ahead and present it at the ticket counter. And basically every other resale website, they all kind of operate the same way, but the same manner. They'll list you a whole bunch of different delivery options. Then once you go in, filter based on that, you can even then find dates that are you know a bit different. Last thing I wanna mention is delivery types. So different delivery types will generally have different delivery date estimates for you. If you're buying something that is an electronic type of delivery, normally you will be in one of two camps. It'll either be delivered instant delivery or it'll be delivered generally within that 48, 72 hour window prior to the event actually taking place. With UPS type tickets and physical tickets, you generally will be getting them much close to the date. But again, it is possible that those will be delivered prior to that date, just depends on when they actually receive those seats. And the last thing I wanna mention, again, delivery dates, they are simply estimates. They are not the exact dates of when you'll actually get those tickets. So if you see a delivery date that takes place a day or two prior to the event, don't get worried. It is still likely that you'll get those tickets in advance of that. Not guaranteed, but you will get them in time for your event. That's all I got for today though. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming up every single week. And see you guys next time.